According to the National Stroke Association, up to 80% of strokes can be prevented. We want you to think about what was just said, because it's too important to pass by. According to the National Stroke Association, quote, up to 80% of strokes can be prevented, end of quote. There are approximately 7 million victims with cerebrovascular disease or stroke. Most do not die from their stroke. Instead, they live the rest of their lives disabled, which impacts them and their loved ones. Just think of the human cost and lost occupations and family pressure in caring for a loved one who has suffered a stroke. The medical, social, and economic costs are staggering. Yet 80% of this impact could have been prevented if they just knew how to apply two simple but life-saving techniques. In fact, the information we're sharing with you today will absolutely change your odds. For example, your odds of winning the lottery are 1 in 14 million. Your odds of dying in a plane crash are 1 in 6 million. Your odds of dying in a car accident are 1 in 4 million. But your odds of dying from cardiovascular disease are 1 in 3. Not 1 in 3 million, 1 in 3. We want to show you two simple techniques that can improve your chances of avoiding a stroke. Let's start by looking at the controllable risk factors associated with a stroke. They are high blood pressure, atrial fibrillation, high cholesterol, diabetes, atherosclerosis, circulation problems, tobacco use and smoking, alcohol use, physical inactivity, obesity. Each one of these controllable risk factors either directly or indirectly damages the most important tissue of your entire cardiovascular system. When we say this, people think we're going to talk about their heart. And while your heart is critical to your cardiovascular health and can be directly damaged by these controllable risk factors, it's not the tissue we're going to introduce you to. In fact, most people have never heard of this tissue, yet vascular researchers today will tell you it's absolutely critical to cardiovascular health and wellness. It's called the endothelium. It's the largest secreting tissue in your entire body yet it's only one cell thick. It lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries and arterioles, veins and venials are lined by this tissue. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Research over the last decade has clearly shown the endothelium to be a multifunctional tissue involved in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. One of those functions is to convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. In fact, this tissue and its ability to create nitric oxide is so important to your health that the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. So let's go back and look at how these controllable risk factors affect your endothelium. High blood pressure directly damages the endothelium. Atrial fibrillation can lead to blood clot formations which are the leading cause of stroke. Nitric oxide can directly address this issue and we'll talk more about this in a little bit. High cholesterol directly damages the endothelium. Diabetes, high blood sugar directly damages the endothelium. Atherosclerosis are plaque formations that narrow the interior of your vascular artery and are typically caused by damage done to the endothelium. Circulation problems are usually a result of damage done to the endothelium. Tobacco use and smoking, nicotine directly damages the endothelium, especially the endothelium of the heart and surrounding coronary arteries. Alcohol use can lead to damage done to the endothelium. Physical inactivity reduces nitric oxide production, which is necessary in stroke prevention. Obesity can contribute to the damage done to the endothelium. As you can see, each one of these controllable risk factors either directly or indirectly damages the endothelium to reduce its ability to properly produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is so important to your cardiovascular health that the 1998 Nobel Laureate in Medicine, Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, wrote a national bestseller called No More Heart Disease. We'd like to focus on the subtitle of his book. It says, quote, how nitric oxide can prevent, even reverse, heart disease and strokes. 
End of quote. To emphasize this point, we'd like to read two short quotes from Dr. Ignaro's book. Here's the first one. Quote, two of NO's critical functions, preventing the formation of blood clots and keeping the arteries free of plaque, work specifically against the occurrence of stroke. End of quote. We'll look at this in greater detail in just a little bit, especially after we read this second quote from Dr. Ignaro. Quote, now we know we can reverse cardiovascular impairment naturally with the body's internally manufactured wonder drug, nitric oxide. End of quote. The health of your endothelium and its ability to properly produce therapeutic levels of nitric oxide are critical to cardiovascular health and can substantially reduce your risk for a stroke. In fact, let's narrow this whole issue of stroke even further. The number one risk factor for a stroke is high blood pressure. It's estimated that if you have high blood pressure, you increase your stroke risk by a factor of four to six times. Additionally, the number one cause of a stroke is a blood clot formation that lodges in a vascular artery. According to the American Heart Association, 87% of all strokes are ischemic strokes. An ischemic stroke occurs when a blood clot forms in the bloodstream. This blood clot then lodges within an artery of the brain causing a blockage. This blockage reduces the necessary blood flow to that section of the brain leading to damage or death to those brain cells. The amount of damage determines the severity of the stroke. Both of these issues, high blood pressure and blood clot formations result predominantly from endothelial cell dysfunction and its inability to properly produce nitric oxide. This information helps us to clearly identify three keys to substantially reducing the risk for a stroke. They are controlling blood pressure, preventing blood clots, reversing endothelial cell dysfunction. So here's how nitric oxide directly addresses each of these keys. First, Nitric oxide is your body's most powerful vasodilator. What this means is that nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to relax, which helps to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. That would directly benefit our first key of controlling blood pressure and directly address the most important controllable risk factor for a stroke. Second, nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to naturally prevent blood clots. This would reduce the number one cause of a stroke and directly addresses our second key, which is preventing blood clots. Third, nitric oxide helps to repair damage done to the endothelium and keep it free from plaque formations and calcification. Plaque formations result in the disease called atherosclerosis and calcification results in the disease called arterial sclerosis. According to the American Heart Association, 74% of all cardiovascular disease is related to atherosclerosis and arterial sclerosis. Proper levels of nitric oxide help to prevent both of these issues, and it directly addresses the last key of helping to reverse endothelial cell dysfunction. Given this information, there are two simple techniques that can improve your chances of avoiding a stroke. First is the assessment of your risk through a non-invasive technique. Second is learning how to properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production. While there are many types of non-invasive techniques, the most effective is an ultrasound screening of the carotid arteries to identify the presence of plaque formations which can increase your risk for a stroke. This is an inexpensive method that when combined with a complete medical history along with your associated risk factors can help you and your physician manage health care decisions that could range from lifestyle changes to medications to surgical procedures. Foundational to all this is learning how to properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production. So how does your endothelium create this nitric oxide? Well there are two important amino acids needed. They are L-arginine and L-citrulline. Your endothelium directly converts L-arginine into nitric oxide, but it needs a certain level. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least five grams of this semi-essential amino acid at one time. We selected six food items that we thought would be common food choices. 
We did the math conversions to look at how much food you would need to eat to take in 5 grams of L-arginine. As you can see by the slide, peanuts provide the smallest quantity of food, but they pack on 70 grams of fat and 918 calories. When you examine this slide, you can see that the three best daily choices are one can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken. For L-citrulline, you only have one good choice, which is watermelon. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion, which most people typically throw away. So unless you juice the entire watermelon, you do not get adequate amounts of L-citrulline to help turbocharge your endothelium's ability to properly produce nitric oxide. Which brings us to this question. Is it better to get these critical amino acids through supplementation? After much research and study, we've determined that the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace is Pyrogenite Plus distributed by Synergy Worldwide and manufactured here in the United States by Nature's Sunshine Products. Both Synergy Worldwide and Nature's Sunshine have received the NSF Good Manufacturing Certification, which means that they meet the highest standards in the nutrition industry for quality assurance and control. Pyrogenite Plus contains both L-arginine and L-citrulline at the needed levels to turbocharge your endothelium's ability to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. Additionally, Pyrogenite Plus also includes the following ingredients. The manufacturing process to create the proprietary formulation of Pyrogenite Plus is second to none. A total of 262 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. So what does all this information mean to you? Well, a healthy endothelium equals a healthy cardiovascular system. And when you look at the number one risk factor for a stroke, which is high blood pressure, and the number one cause of a stroke, which is a blood clot that has lodged itself in an arterial vessel that most likely has some level of plaque formation, Nitric oxide directly addresses each of these issues. Nitric oxide relaxes the vascular wall to help keep your blood pressure in a normal range. Nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to naturally prevent blood clots. And nitric oxide can repair damage done to the endothelium to help reverse endothelial cell dysfunction. We believe Progen Plus can nourish your endothelial cells to help you properly produce nitric oxide the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system, and the most powerful vasodilator for helping you improve your cardiovascular health. This leaves us with a final question. Would you like to take the 90-day health challenge to see if Progenite Plus can aid you and your family members in reducing your risk for stroke by improving your cardiovascular health? If your answer is yes, then please talk with a person who recommended this presentation to you. They will work with you to help you properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production, leading to improved cardiovascular health, which has the potential to dramatically reduce the major risk factors commonly associated with a stroke.